Let's face it, Marvell Technology isn't the loudest name in AI. They're not building chips that get all the hype. They aren't jaw-dropping big names like NVIDIA or AMD. But there's a twist. Marvell is quietly building the plumbing of the entire AI revolution. And without that plumbing, nothing works. No fast training, no smooth cloud apps, no data center efficiency, nada. And with their latest acquisition and a huge jump in data center revenue, Marvell might be stepping into one of the most underrated growth stories in semiconductor land today. So if you're trying to figure out whether this behind the scenes player could one day turn into a front row winner, stick around because this one matters most than most of you probably realize. Now, if you're new to the channel, hey, what's up? My name is Rick Orford. I've been trading since 1999 and no, I'm not a financial advisor. That's a good thing. I break down the numbers so retail investors like us can make smarter, more confident decisions with our money. Before I continue, I wanted to thank our friends at Investing Pro for sponsoring this video. Now, I'm sure you've guessed, I spent a lot of time making sense of the markets right? And Investing Pro is just one of those tools I keep coming back to. Sure, you've got access to over a thousand financial metrics, multiple valuation models, and a wealth of data, just like other platforms. But here, it's all presented clearly, and it's easy to understand. And probably my favorite feature on the platform is ProPix. It's got more than 80 AI-driven portfolios, like Tech Titans, that you can copy. You can see all the current holdings and the portfolio updates itself once a month. So you're not trading every day. Plus, it's long-term returns. They're back-tested north of 25% a year, which is all very impressive. Heads up, Investing Pro is running their largest sale of the year, and you can access the tool at a 55 to 60% discount, plus an additional 15% through my community link, which you can find in the description. And that makes now an excellent time to check out the platform. Marvell Technology is a semiconductor company that started in 1995, and they've been building critical hardware behind modern computing ever since. They focus on components that move and store data, acting like the veins that keep digital systems running. And today, they're a recognized name in semiconductors, and they work alongside giants like NVIDIA and AMD. And while those companies build the processing brains, Marvell provides the infrastructure that helps those chips perform and communicate efficiently. Marvell's role is to move, store, and secure data rather than handle the heavy processing. They develop wireless processors, Ethernet switches, and storage technologies that keep AI data centers running smoothly. And for everyday users, this shows up in faster apps, smoother streaming, and responsive cloud services. When a platform feels quick and reliable, there's a good chance that Marvell's technology is working quietly in the background. And that's important because Marvell believes their purpose is to strengthen and power the infrastructure that's pushing technology forward. From their point of view, execution matters just as much as innovation, because both are needed to build better systems and keep progress moving. Marvell now develops far more than their original storage chips. Their portfolio includes computing engines, high-speed connectivity, and customizable chips that function kind of like a nervous system, but it's of an organization's data. The technology moves information between servers, triggers system functions, and keeps data secure along the way. And because data centers and high-speed computing consume large amounts of electricity, Marvell designs chips that deliver higher performance, all while reducing power use with each generation. They also run a sustainability program that's focused on assessing products against global standards for quality, safety, and climate goals. Marvell aims to become a backbone of AI and support the expanding digital economy. Their goal is to build the infrastructure that AI and cloud platforms need so that businesses and researchers can process and convert massive amounts of data quickly and securely. For shareholders like us, the real question is whether this behind the scenes role can keep growing as AI demand accelerates. Now, let's see what Marvell's been up to recently. 
On December 2nd, alongside their third quarter earnings, Marvell announced an agreement to acquire Celestial AI. And this is going to add photonic fabric technology for optical interconnects. And this is said to accelerate next generation AI in cloud data centers. It positions Marvell to lead the shift from copper to optical connections as AI architectures scale across racks and require higher bandwidth, lower latency, and more efficient power use. And Marvell expects this technology to create new semiconductor opportunities and contribute, get this, up to a billion dollars in annualized revenue by fiscal 2029, while expanding its role in AI infrastructure. And speaking of third quarter earnings, let's have a look at their recent numbers. Marvell reported revenue grew around 37% to a record $2.1 billion. The major driver of this was the data center segment, and this contributed about $1.5 billion, which made up roughly 73% of the total revenue this quarter. So they went from a loss of $676 million to a net income of $1.9 billion, and this marked a major turnaround in results, and that translated to $2.20 per share. Third quarter gross margin is around 52%, and cash flow generated from operations was $582 million. So let's dive into the catalysts and the risks because this came up in my Discord channel recently and I think it's worth talking about. Marvell introduced new package integrated voltage regulator power solutions that could become one, one day a major growth driver as AI demand accelerates. These pre-validated PIVR systems shift power delivery from board level components to tightly integrated silicon near or inside the processor. And all of this enables faster, denser, and more efficient electricity flow to XPUs. And that reduces transmission losses by up to 85%, and it supports up to 4 kilowatt plus compute platforms. Higher power density unlocks greater compute capacity per rack, improving total cost of ownership for the hyperscalers. And as AI data centers deal with rising power and thermal challenges, Marvell's approach delivers performance gains, electricity efficiency, and lower systems costs all at the same time. And all of this could strengthen Marvell's strategic role in AI infrastructure and expand demand for their custom silicon platform. So Piver positions Marvell to benefit from the shift towards multi-kilowatt AI systems. And another growth driver is their expanding global presence. Although they're headquartered in California, they recently opened three new offices in Vietnam, making it their third largest research and development hub after the United States and India. They now design build and test technology while supporting local universities through scholarships, internships, and training programs. And in Vietnam, their team already includes more than 500 engineers, and that just proves a strong confidence in the region's long-term potential. From an investor's perspective, building complex AI hardware in Vietnam keeps costs competitive and strengthens their global footprint. Moves like this deepen relationships in high growth markets and create room for future expansion. But again, you don't just want the good news when you're doing your due diligence. So let's have a look at Marvell's risks because there are a few. Now, despite its strong quarterly results, it still faces some heavy competition in the custom AI chip market. Broadcom, for example, it's gaining lots of momentum, which could limit how much attention Marvell receives. Their progress risks being overshadowed, even with recent wins involving Amazon and Microsoft. But the risk exists because Marvell is trying to sit at the center of AI infrastructure instead of standing on the sidelines. They're also pushing hard to provide value and grow past expectations. And speaking of expectations, let's have a look at how the stock has been performing. Marvell currently trades around $99. It's down 10% year to date and down about 13% over the last 52 weeks. But the shorter term performance is what I got to highlight this time. The stock is finally up 6% in the last month and up 56% over the last three months. So, does this mean that finally Marvell is bouncing back? Well, let's see what the analysts think. A consensus among 35 analysts currently rate Marvell stock a strong buy with a high target price of $156. So that suggests about 58% potential upside 
from the latest closed. And the rating moved up from a moderate buy just a month ago, while the average score rose to 4.43 over the last three months. And I think it's right. Marvell, they finally got some, some growth in their data center segment. The revenue is up. So everything looks to be all set for the next few quarters. But what about you? Which, what do you think about Marvell stock? It's up more than 50% over the last three months. Are you buying or are you still holding? What are you doing? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, if you found the video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps others find the video, it supports the channel, and you won't miss out on any of my future deep dives. Well, that's it for me today. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.